Welcome to Women's Football World, the only show of its kind, bringing the best of the action from around the world and getting behind the scenes. We're here at Bristol City Women's FC. I'm going to be talking to their head coach, Tanya Oxtoby. I'll spend extra time with goalkeeper Sophie Bagley and defender Lauren Dykes. And if you want to see the show in full, head to all four or for more exclusive content and the longer form interviews, go to at C4 Sport. How do you reflect nearly a year here now? What have you managed to achieve that you're proud of? Oh, that's a good question, that one. Um, it's been a really tough 12 months. I think when I first came in, we were probably at our lowest point in terms of being organised and ready for a season. So for us to have a squad that is still around and competing at the highest level, that's probably been our greatest achievement that people want to stay and still be a part of what we're building. Good, stay on the ball, stay on the ball. Tell me a bit about your experience in, in Australia and indeed what you make of the football setup here. I came through a generation where it was it was part-time football, semi-professional if you like, and I had a full-time job in psychology and I was trying to balance going to training in the evenings, getting all the gym work done, and then going and working a full-time job. We're massive on dual career here at Bristol. I think that's really, really important that we support players and make sure they've got an outlet when they finish playing football and that starts while they're playing football. Part of the reason I came across is that obviously the game is a little bit more developed at at this point in this country and the opportunities for me to be sat here now and, and be talking about working full time in women's football. It's a great place to be in this country in terms of the growth of women's sport and hopefully Australia will really, really follow suit. How would you sum up this season for Bristol City? In one word, good. <laughs> it's been brilliant. We've um, punched above our weight, I'd probably say. The teams have uh, finished above us you probably expect them to. And the other teams, I think people probably didn't expect us to do as well as we did, but it just goes to show how much professionalism we've got in this team. We had about three players signed on a week before pre-season. Tanya came in, had to bring a squad in and get us to play as a team. So um, the work we've put in has been you know, really hard, but you can see kind of the benefits we've had from it now and the success we've had. And let's talk from your point of view as players, what Tanya has brought in. When you know what the manager wants, it's a lot easier to put that into practice. She's made it very clear on our roles as individuals and as a team and yeah, I think that has just given us a structure to really build from. If you were to be really honest and forthright about what you want next from football, what would it be? I think it would be to see teams like Bristol um, being able to compete with the other teams, whether that's financially or on the pitch performances. I think we need the investment and that can only come from the club itself just makes actually what you've achieved this season even more impressive. So good luck as you move on forwards and well done again. Thank you. And that is just about it from Women's Football World. But do join us again next week because we're going to be behind the scenes at St George's Park. We've got exclusive access to the Lionesses to talk about their hopes, their expectations ahead of this summer's World Cup. And in particular, we'll be focusing on Lucy Bronze of Lyon and Tony Duggan of Barcelona, who remember face each other tonight in the Champions League final. We'll have highlights of that as well next week. So it is a finale not to be missed. But a massive thank you to Bristol City Women for hosting us here today. Watch out for them. They're a team really on the up. Have a great weekend and whatever you're doing, keep keeping. Keep.